Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Factory Designs. I'm gonna show you how to color these super cute turtles uh, using the watercolor technique. I'm also gonna show you how to take this guy and flip him so that you can have two turtles meeting in the middle. It's called the mirroring technique and it's one of my favorites. Um, this bundle is called Turtle Friends. It also comes with a coordinating punch, which we always love. And the paper I am using is actually the Sweet as a Peach Designer Series paper, and it happens to be on sale this month, July 2021. Okay, let's stamp our turtles first. Um, to do the mirroring technique, you're going to need your Stamparatus and a silicone mat, silicone sheet, which I already have here. And because we're watercoloring, I am using watercolor paper. Now we're gonna stamp our turtle normal, just normally. Let's see, I'm gonna put him about right there and I can pick him up. You can see here where I stamped him on the silicone mat the last time. It does leave a stain on your mat, but I'm sure that a little elbow grease would get it off. I just never have tried. All right, so I'm gonna stamp him right here in the corner. I am using Stays On ink because um, it is an alcohol-based ink that won't run when I watercolor it. All right, so stamp him first normally. Now, to do the reverse stamping, we're gonna do, stamp him here and lay our paper down. I think I'll do it on this side like that. Um, one thing that I have noticed is when you do this, when you transfer the ink over onto your silicone mat, it's always not as dark as an originally stamped image would be. So I kind of like to, whoops, ink it up a few times to make sure it's nice and juicy. All right, now I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna lay it right there and I'm gonna rub it. Now without moving it, I'm gonna stamp it again so that I have the image on the back and I can punch it easily with my punch. All right, there we go. Now you can see how it's kind of light. In the end, when it's dry, I'm gonna show you how I go over it with a marker to make it a little bit darker if it's not dark enough for you. When I was practicing this, I did it several times and you can see I got different levels of darkness. This one is um, doing what I just did, inking it several times. And if you move quickly, I think you can get a darker image. Um, it dries, the ink dries pretty quickly, so you have to move kind of fast. All right, so we're going to watercolor, which means you're gonna need a water painter and a paper towel. I am using Pear Pizzazz ink, and you can use the ink here in your um, the base of your ink pad, or you can take a clear block and make it kind of like a palette of ink. Now what I like to do is take my water painter, and let's see, I'm gonna start on the darker one first. I like to go over it with some water and put a good water coat in his shell. Pretty juicy, a puddle, but I'm staying within those lines. There's a little drop there I can add over here. All right, and I want it pretty juicy, so I'm gonna actually squeeze a couple of times because when I grab onto this ink over here and I just drop it, it's gonna actually kind of spread up See how it's spreading? Okay, and the more water that you add, the more it's gonna spread. And I'm gonna push it up, but I want it to be pretty light there on the top. That water is pooled up there and it will spread, but it will stay in that puddle. All right, now I'm gonna come back and add some dark here because I want it darker down here on the bottom of the shell. All right, now I've got little drops on his face. Now I'm just going to paint the rest of his body. I'm using the water painter that is the fine tip end. This is kind of a small area and I wanna have pretty good control, especially around his eyes. Okay, now I did get out of the lines there, but it'll be okay when we punch it out. I'm gonna go down here, and my color's pretty light, that's okay. 
We're going to add a little bit of dark in just a second. Now, I'm going to grab a little more of this dark ink and I'm going to do his little toenails <laughs> so that they're darker. I'm not sure if that's what those are called, but I want them to be a little bit darker. And I'm also going to just take a little bit of dark ink and go under his shell there. Okay, he looks pretty good. Let's turn it around and do this one. I'm going to get some ink again, get my brush nice and juicy. And the water is green already because we've been painting and that's okay. If you're switching colors, that would not be okay. So you want to make sure, be cognizant of that. Now I'm gonna take that dark and I just love to watch that water. Take that ink and just kind of spread up. The water just pushes it up and creates some really nice texture for your turtle. Watercoloring is one of my favorite things to do, which is kind of funny. My mom's actually a professional watercolor and I have my entire life always fought her on it. I never wanted to do it as a kid. And now, now that I'm doing stamping all the time, I find that I love to watercolor. Now, of course, it's a little bit different than the kind of watercoloring she does, but it just is funny, and I think it's music to her ears when she hears me say that. All right, I'm gonna continue here. I've got, he's kind of dark up here. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. The more water you add, the lighter it will be. Um, the le less water you add, the darker it will be. Now, one thing I do like to do also is once it dries, go back and add in some other color, some you know, the same color, but just making it darker in some places. For the video, we probably won't have time to do that. Let's add a little bit more dark down here. There we go. Okay, so there are my turtles. I'm gonna set, aside, set them aside to dry. And while we're doing that, we'll put together the rest of the card. I'm gonna use a Flirty Flamingo card base. Make sure I get this all the way out of the way. And you may not have noticed, but I put a little bit of texture back there and some texture on the inside. And I'm gonna do that with a mask. Um, these are one of our new masks. And I chose this one. It kind of looks like maybe mermaid scales or I'm not sure, maybe rainbow type image. And I'm gonna take my card, I'm gonna tape it down inside like that. And then I'm using post-it tape, by the way. If you haven't used post-it tape, it is awesome. I have a link to it on my blog. Let's see, we're gonna line that up like that, above and below. Now I've got one of my blending brushes and a flirty flamingo. Now remember, you're only going to be able to see the edges of your card, so I'm not going to get the whole front. I'm just going to go around kind of like a frame around the outside edges. And this is just going to add a little bit of texture, fun. And it's gonna be pretty light in the back, but I think it adds some nice detail. Isn't that pretty? All right, now for the inside, we wanna take off those pieces of tape. We'll move them up here. And I'm not gonna even do very much down here. I'm just going to kind of do some of the corners like this. Let's get some more ink. And then maybe a little bit up here. And over here. All right. Now, we're gonna actually use this little heart stamp in a minute on the outside. So I think I'm gonna add a few of the hearts here on the inside as well in Flirty Flamingo. All right. 
Now for the front, let's get rid of this grid paper. For the front, I, I told you in the beginning, I'm using some paper that's actually called the Sweet as a Peach. It has peaches on the back, but the, but the opposite side that we're using is Balmy Blue, which is a great color contrast here with the Flirty Flamingo and the pear pizzazz we used on our turtles. I'm gonna mat that right there on basic white, and I'm gonna take another strip and put it across here. The measurements for this are over on my blog. If you click the link here on YouTube, it'll take you to my Facebook Friday post where I have a free PDF and um, two other Turtle Friend projects that you can see. Now we're gonna put this up with dimensionals. I love my dimensionals. One in each corner is enough. Okay, and I have cut out a vellum um, stitched so sweetly, stitched scalloped rectangle, which we're gonna layer our turtles on. The sentiment we're gonna cut out, so let's do that. Move my ink pad out of the way. And we're gonna use Flirty Flamingo. And it says, you are turtly loved. Okay, on basic white. Now I am using this awesome die called the message die. And it has so many different shapes. So I like to use it to find just the right um, size. And I think that one right there will work perfectly. So let's drag over my cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna layer that right. Let's see, which one are we using on the very bottom? So let's come down here and line it up right there. Again, I think I'm gonna use my post-it tape to keep that, make sure it doesn't slip. Post-it tape is one of my favorite secret weapons in my craft studio. All right, I think we're ready to go. And you don't even have to run it all the way through, just get that bottom part down there. And there's our sentiment. Now our card is ready to go. We just need to wait for our turtles to dry and I will come back as soon as they're dry. All right, we had a little bit of a mishap as you can see. <laughs> I laid some things on it while I was making the video and it smeared, but we're gonna save it. I'm gonna take my basic black stamp and write marker and I'm gonna outline it. And I was gonna do this anyway to make the black line as dark as the black line of our other stamp. And it's pretty easy, just trace those lines and just slowly go around. And this isn't necessary, you don't have to do this, but I just wanted that dark line to match. Okay, so just go around, don't forget his toenails. Luckily, we're punching these out so we don't have to worry about all that smeared ink. Okay, now I'm gonna cut these in half so I can get my punch in there. And let's punch the regular one out first so you can see how it matches. Okay, luckily it's gonna punch out all of my boo-boos as well. Okay, there's one. And this guy is not gonna match, but remember we stamped it twice. We stamped it on the, on the back of the cardstock as well. So that will line up with the punch perfectly. Okay, so there, now we have our cute, our two cute little turtles. So let's bring over our vellum um, uh, rectangle and I'm gonna get some dimensionals. And we're gonna put this little guy, these two little guys, right in the middle. And remember, you gotta put that sentiment below. So move them up just high enough. And 
maybe this guy needs to come over just a bit. There we go. Now for the sentiment, I'm gonna use some mini dimensionals. Right there. I'm gonna come back with my Flirty Flamingo ink and I'm gonna stamp some hearts on either side over here. But remember that this is vellum, so it will take a little bit of time to dry. So just try not to smear it. And then last but not least, we have a cute stitched heart, which is all the way over here. I have no idea. Boy, it's like a tornado has come through here. This is from the Give It A Whirl dies, a flirty flamingo stitched heart that we're gonna put right in the middle. All right, last but not least, let's put it on our card. To match, so that your dimensionals don't show, I put dimensionals right behind all of my spaces. All right, and we'll put some mini ones down here. We're just matching those dimensionals that we put before. And we'll flip it. And there you have it. So let's bring it over. I think I did a better job the first time watercoloring. But, you know, that's the beauty of watercolor. It's kind of abstract and never perfect. So don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> All right, if you would like the details for this card, click the link here on YouTube and hop back over to my blog. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.